Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, man, welcome to the video. We're hopping into a powerlifting meet without any practice with our boy, Will Tennyson. I don't know if that comes off rude. I don't mean to say my boy like rude. I mean like we're homies, but I actually don't know him. But I've watched a lot of his content. I've seen him pop up over the years now. Uh, awesome content creator. And I've seen him connect with some of my friends. You know, I think he's done videos with... Uh, Patty and Steffi Cohen and others and so he's definitely been on my radar and I love when big creators hop into the sport of powerlifting. Um, I don't really know a lot of his background. I know he's got a little muscle on him so he obviously lifts and he's been in the game a while um, but I'm not sure if he has any powerlifting background so we're going to dive into the video and see what it's like for him to enter a powerlifting meet. I assume it's first without any practice. I'm backstage at my first ever powerlifting meet but there's just one thing. I didn't prepare for it. Let's see how I do. Yeah, like if you don't have a coach consists and stuff. Of squat, bench, and deadlift, where you'll compete against oh, other lifters history. to see who has the highest combined total Welcome between to the, the three lifts. Welcome to History Channel with Mike and Will Tennyson. 6 a.m. time for check-ins, so I'm doing the 90 kilogram men's open raw. Off the bat, he's talking like he knows what the hell's going on. Don't lie to us, Mr. Tennyson. You <clears throat> maybe you're playing dumb because he's talking about kilos and he's there on time. It looks like he's just there with his cameraman. So either he did good research and so he knows about check-ins and weigh-ins. Because I feel like if you're an outsider. It's complicated. It, it, once you're an insider, it's simple. But if you have no clue the what's a check-in, what's a weigh-in, different federations have different times you have to do it. It does get a little complex if you're a total noob, but I feel like this dude's got a little foundation of the sport itself. The thing I was most nervous about Chaos Lab. was weigh-ins. I mean, the truth about weigh-ins, it does get a little nerve-wracking, um, but if you... Don't weigh in in the weight. They'll just so bump you up a weight class. Like, like, like it's really not that big. Go up. It's to be 90 kilograms, and I was 89.8. So it just made it by a hair. Yeah, like if you're trying to be competitive and stuff, obviously you want to hit in your weight class. But otherwise, it don't matter. See, he does have a coach. He'll be fine. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm happy he came along. Hopefully, he can squat to death. That's probably the hardest thing. Happy to be here, man. We're gonna get warm up started. Yeah, we're gonna start with the bar, and we're gonna get about five warm ups. Yeah, he knows how to squat. It does get nerve wracking though. I haven't felt this kind of nerves since I was like a kid playing hockey in the playoffs. It's it's a nice feeling to feel again, but I'm I'm really like anxious right now to get out there. I'm terrified right now. It is nerve-wracking. So if you guys have never put yourself no on the line, to see the judges, to not know the order, to not know the gym, to have different barbells, to have all this weird stuff. Really started to kick in. You gotta Especially on squats. It's the most technical. It there's the most commands. He's got a coach, though. He can calm him down. He's a pretty jack guy, actually. Kind of built like a power lifter. And might I say, a 450 attempt uh, opener is no joke. Definitely not a beginner weight. And... You look pretty good in the single, Will. Look pretty good, buddy. Most of the time, most of us look pretty bad. The command, waited for it. Depth looks good. Pretty high bar, really upright. You know, if we had a long time. Not gonna lie, I blacked out for the pretty much majority of it, but everyone said it went fast. It felt heavy as fuck. Going up to 215 for the second attempt. It was attempt. good. 10 minutes 475 back up, or and second attempt. PR today if, I, if I coached him, I'd probably get a little more forward lean going. Um, sometimes being too upright can actually be a detriment to your strength. You want to get your low back involved. And now you're so worried about balance and you're so d uh, dependent on your quads that it can actually take away some of your top end strength. Obviously, it sounds like he just hopped into this thing and top end strength isn't his number one goal. But that being said, a 475 squat um, is no joke. You know, two depth. Two regulation. So in the USAPL, you have a start command. You got to pull out. They'll say the weight, the bar's ready. Then you get to pull out whenever you want. You walk out. Then you have to show stability and control. They'll give you a start command. Then you hit depth, just like that. And you have to wait for the rack command. So you have to stand tall and lock it out before you're allowed to rack it. That all looks really clean, though. He moves really well. That was easy, too. He's probably got five hundo in him today. I don't know if we're going there, Willie. We got five hundo. That felt better than my first attempt. Yeah, once you get the nerves yeah. out, 10 extra kilos, second 10 attempt kilo starts to feel good. Nine for nine. Really be there. A lot of it depends on goals, too. When you start to choose what your uh, attempts are, like you guys will see coming up here, I'm about to go down to Anaheim, um, and I'm handling Bart, so I'm helping him choose his attempts. We've been texting the last couple weeks. And choosing attempts this depends on your ultimate goal. Afraid of, and it's because I just I just got in my head. This was the lift where I thought I had the most potential for failure. And instead of telling myself I can do it, these edits are crazy. I just kept Shout on out saying to his editor. I could, and I've done that ever since I was a kid because I was scared, and it's easier that way. 
Damn, they're making this emotional. These are good edits, man. Shout out, shout out to him and his team. It's a good video. A little round edits with loading the bar, a little round edits with the, the attempts. 496, like I said, he's got he's probably got 501 in him. In the sport of powerlifting, you gotta go by kilos um, that are capable of like 2.5 jumps based on the plates and stuff you have. Get up! Yeah, that's kind of, Yeah, see that's where that uprightness gets a little weird. If he's a little less upright over time with practice, he would smash that. Duke could probably squat 600 pounds if he, if he dove into powerlifting, honestly. He's a really good, really, really good athlete. But yeah, attempt selection comes down so much to like, are you trying to chase the total? Are you trying to beat somebody head to head there? Are you just trying to go nine for nine? Where, where do we sit in these things? Is he stoked? You should be stoked. I don't know if it's all time PR, but that's hard to do in a meet. Yeah, he's a little nervous. Chick does feel weird. I competed high level basketball my entire life. But competing in powerlifting does feel a little different. It feels a little weird. I wanted that so bad. It's interesting to see how invested he is despite looking like he just showed up without practice. It, it, this does seem real, although YouTube's a lot of fakeness. I'm proud of myself because like, back in the day, would never have done this. Don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits, guys. So like, go out there and do it. Who cares about the competition? Just go out and have fun. Every powerlifting meet I've been to, maybe not as much as an athlete, and that's why I don't compete, but as a coach or a spectator or a meet director or a host, which I've done all of them many times, a handler, um, it is kind of emotional. It's kind of an emotional journey. I'm thinking about my dog right now. <laughs> is it his dog? His dog is squat coach. Time to get back to work. Yeah, now you gotta get some Up food next, in you, the man. bench press. Come the on. one of the three lifts that I'm most confident in, the plan, opening attempt, 145 kilograms. Okay, what's that, like 315? The beautiful thing about powerlifting is that I don't have to rack my, my own weights. You got this beautiful man right here. Weight Sherpas, they're doing a great job. Right, weight sure. Sherpas? I just got, I just got you call him the caddy. My last attempt was 496, like which I'm, I'm super proud good. about, but it's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life, it's not 500. Yeah, it's 496, dude, you're a pussy. Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, it's a move. Yeah, dude. Do I want one of these? Yeah. Swedish fish? The fuck we doing, Will? Who the hell goes to a full candy store and buys a Swedish fish? I like Swedish fish, but that's not want to fucking bring it to the potluck, the powerlifting candy potluck. The fuck is going on, dude? You say you want some of these? Kids like, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Oh, you want cherry plastic rubber? Nah, I'll pass. At least the dogs. As time He's open to 308. By competition, my confidence is slowly going up. Maybe we'll head up to 330, 340. All right, you're up. It is cool, like, going nine for nine or, like, breaking a couple's first and second attempts on your squat and smashing them. You really do start to get some momentum, which is something – you don't often think about in lifting, like momentum. Oh, it's 320, dude. My math sucks. We might end up at like 360 then. You're a strong kid. I say kid respectfully. That's hard if you haven't paused like that. I feel like he's practiced. Will, don't lie to me, dog. That's a big pause. And most benchers, gym bros, don't pause that long. That guy had me pausing for a minute, though. That was though. a really good pause. That was like a, that was like a slow motion pause. That was a long pause. Damn. Yeah. He's but that's the sport of powerlifting. So, like, if he me. never prepped, I don't know if that's true. Will, I don't want to call you out, buddy, but that's really hard to do. It's really hard to pra not practice a pause, which no one does if you're not prepared, and then to pause like that. They basically want the bar to come still and show control, and then they'll give you a press command and a rack. So, the, so bench has three commands in the USAPL. You got to start, a press, and a rack. Yeah, that's really strong pressing. I'm glad he's got his Apple Watch on just in case he needs to check his heart rate. How many steps he's getting? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty long pause for the USAPL, but it was good. Are you going to hit 160 or 150? 160, what's that, 352? This meat looks pretty good. Shout out to the meat director, too. We're rolling the dice on the next one. We're rolling the dice. He's pretty composed. Especially if this is his first meat. I kind of feel like it's not. I don't want to put him on blast. 
Yeah, 353. I think it's 352.8, but we're not counting. It's a pretty big bench, too. You see all, like, your favorite lifters, like a Russell Orhe or a Jamal Browner. Clean. Good fight. Yeah, good fight. Definitely work on some of his positioning, too. You get some stability going. Not that an arch is going to make you press a lot of weight, but you get a little bit more stability in your upper back when you drive your legs up into him. His legs probably, you know, a little limp. That lady pauses for like a century, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was good. Damn. Put it on my cute little deadlift slippies. Look at these. They both like, I like to deadlift with socks. You can't wear socks yeah, on the Yeah, if you have deadlift slippies, you prep for me, bro. No, Sorry, Will. I'm calling you out. Um, right now, I'm doing There's no way you have deadlift down slippers down. and you're not ready to power lift. I've probably lifted 15 years and I don't have deadlift slippers. Oh, sorry. Now you're good. All right. What's this on deck here? Are we in a sauna? All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, it's outdoor for the baby powder. It smells so nice. I know. All right. So baby powder and power liftings, I actually want to put it out there. I think it's a little overrated, uh, but baby powder is basically just to make the quads a little smoother. So when you're deadlifting, you're trying to keep that barbell on your body really tight um, and less friction. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't get chalk now. Yeah, you need water on it. He just rubbed his own baby powder. Baby powder is much tougher on your hands. Like that'll make the bar so slippery. You, you just pound it in with the back of the bottle. There's the trick for you. Yeah, it's clean. The bar was a little bit further away from him there. He needs to get his momentum backwards, but still strong. You pull like that and your, you know, technique's a little off, you're a strong cat. Yeah, if he gets his weight backwards and pulls that bar into him, you can see how much his shoulders are over the bar. He still moved it super fast. But yeah, the point is to keep that bar really close to your shins and body. Obviously, the closer to your center of gravity, it's going to uh, be a lot lighter. 502 for a second attempt. Um, and then the baby powder allows it just the, bar, the steel to run a little smoother up the quads. Yeah, you can see how far he is. He's still really clean. I mean, he's a strong dude, but you make some small tweaks, you could be very, very strong. It is kind of uh, rare for like more of a intermediate or I don't want to call him a beginner because he's obviously got a bunch of muscle on him, but like a newer lifter that your squat is near your deadlift. Typically in the first couple years, it's so easy to move your deadlift and it's really hard to get your squat strength up. It's just so much more balance and technique. Ooh, Finding depth is scary. Two forty-five. Well, yeah, we're probably about five fifty. Maybe a little more. I'm jamming to the music though. Like a modern day Jimi Hendrix. Oh, five twenty-nine. I'll let you guys down with my math. He's gonna smoke this too. Yeah, clean. See, you can see the gap between his body and the bar. That just makes it literally exponentially heavier, and he still smashes it. So if he pulled that thing into his shins, he'd pull 600. He'd pull 600 in two weeks. Let's see if we got a wrap up. First place at my first meet with a 225 kilogram. Oh, it is his first meet. 160 kilogram bench and a 240 kilogram deadlift for a total of 625 kilogram or 1,378 pounds. Today was such an amazing experience, an experience I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. I got to meet some awesome, talented people throughout the day. Hopefully this video can inspire you to push your limits, be vulnerable, put yourself out there, and, and just lean into it because you are capable, you can do it. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, that's what it's about. Hopefully he still likes it, too. He might have caught a little iron bug. Congrats, Will. Good video, buddy. Good total. Uh, thanks for spreading positivity in the sport. And the community is all about it. And it, you can see it there in the video. They're sharing food. They're having fun. They're, they're going head-to-head, -head, but they're not going head-to-head. -head. Uh, so let me know if you all enjoyed the React. We're dropping in new content. Maybe I'll catch a session with Will one day. It's on the mic, 3SB.co. We over me. Be a part of something bigger self. I'm out of here, y'all.